let's take a look at the thumbnails on the timeline. The icon on top in the left corner is the motion tracker icon. The next icon with the arrow is telling us that this clip is automatically linked together with the same clip used later in the timeline. It used to be a red bar across the middle. Next to that is the time code of the clip and to the right of the time code space that's reserved for the chain link icon which tells us that there is a color correction grouped together. This color correction and this one are grouped together. Next within the timeline here you see I have three flags. We can create flags to tell us any thing we want basically it can remind us to do anything we just come over to the flag menu here and I can hit clear all or I can come back and right click on it again and I can come back and add I'll add the blue flag next we have uh, we have a marker we can do here so the markers are used as frame accurate so I can put here let's put uh, a violet one on the timeline so that one is there now under frame accurate next we have on the bottom left, this is the render cache icon and how much this particular ca uh, clip has already been cached. Next after this here we have uh, down underneath it, this is the clip number, the video track it's currently on, and this is a version which is a remote version because if it's a local version it would have an L next to it right there. So this version here is used elsewhere in the list. Underneath that is the rainbow icon which shows that there is a color correction involved on the clip and if you double click in that space between the version number and the video track number the codec of the clip pops up. Double clicking that again returns it back to the original view.